in, in her genre and they'll respect that because she's a she's a you know she'll tame her tool. Oh yeah. She'll totally. do it, you know? Oh her tool. <laughs> tame her tool. Yeah. Right? She'll tame that she'll not I mean she'll go for it. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. But yeah, like I say man, the whole album uh-huh. I don't know, did you hear it yet? I didn't hear all of it. I just skimmed through it real quick, you know. But she kind of goes into like really piano songs sometimes, and then she'll go into like some really soul, like sounds like '70s soul kind of stuff. Uh-huh. Like. The one that I like from her, my favorite song from Alicia Keys is a uh, Diary. Yeah, that's a nice song. Go with uh, Raphael Sadiq from uh, Tarzan Kelly. Like she goes deep into like '70s R&B, like oh yeah, you just feel it, you know. So I thought, I thought that was an awesome track. I think I like that one better than anything she's ever done, except for maybe Unbreakable, the one that was unplugged. Yeah. That one was pretty good. Yeah, the unplugged that one was pretty good. But I gotta soak this album in. I haven't had a chance to. So, but this one was too simple for me. I don't know. But I've been soaking in that Chromeo album. Man. You wouldn't believe. Oh yeah. You know, you, you listen to Chromeo, right? Chromeo, I've heard of him. Oh, the album is dope. Yeah. Very good album. Really electronic, but it's it's like it sounds like an old break dancing album, oh, like right. like an old Bombada album. Yeah, right. <clears throat> oh 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 oh! That was Alicia Keys with No One, number three on the countdown on Wobble Row 5.5. And uh, Kanoa, I gotta tell you something. What's up? Um, What's up? I played this song for my grandmother, right? Yeah. And she thought it was No Juan. <laughs> <laughs> no Juan, no. No Juan. Yeah, so she thought it was like a like a Spanish uh, song. No Juan. No Juan. So anyone named Juan out there, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no Juan. <laughs> yeah. 413 on this Thursday, we got Kanoa of Gomega in the studio, not of the Omegas. Uh, not, oh, we got we got our side project called Gomeja. <laughs> 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 But yeah, I'm from Gomega. Yes. And uh, I was reading the uh, Honolulu Advertiser online. Apparently, uh, what's his name? Wayne Harada? Yeah, Wayne Harada. Yeah, he, he thought there's a, there's actually six people in Kanoa of Gomega. Can you explain that? Well, he was actually referring to all the alter egos that I have on the album. Right. Which, you know, it, it, it just signifies all the different genres and different, um, you know, Instruments that I play and yeah, yeah, what yeah. I'm influenced with. So you know, you look at the, <laughs> you look at the, um, <laughs> what you call that that um, article, and it's just so funny because he actually felt that as if all those guys <laughs> on the album, because on the cover there's I'm dressed differently and yeah, I'm dressed yeah. in my alter egos, but um, <laughs> it's just so funny. He kind of referred to saying that um, you know, without those guys in the album, it wouldn't have been. <laughs> The album, you know? <laughs> and I was like, well, I'll put myself out of the equation and it'll be fine. I hope you said thanks. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You know, I'm so grateful yeah. that guys actually do articles about the album. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, from Maui, man. Right, exactly. You know? I actually know a Fatso Matsuda. Oh, you do? I do. You know a Fatso Matsuda? Yeah, not here though. He's on a wall. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so there is an actual Fatso Matsuda. <laughs> I, I met this girl and her name was, her last name was Kikivi. Okay, and um, I was itching now because I mean I made up that character Cornbread Kikivi. Right, right. But I was like gonna tell her, oh, do you know Cornbread? <laughs> <laughs> and see if actually there is a Cornbread. That would right. be so funny if there was a Cornbread Kikivi. <laughs> <laughs> there could be, could be. You know, you never know, right? Yeah, you never, you never know. Never know, cause uh, the other day I met a white dude named James Brown. So wow. I yeah, oh, yeah our, our old keyboard player. His his name was a. Uh, Patrick James Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Same but different, but he had, Pat, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah, totally. That's right. We got Kanoa of Gomega in the studio. Without Gomega, just Kanoa himself uh, of Gomega. Not the Omegas. Just <laughs> want to make sure about that, you know. Kind of made me think about Omega Supreme. Oh, yeah. 
half. Yeah. Transformers, right? Yep. That's right. 415 on this Thursday. Uh, coming up, we got your back in the day moment. Also, your celebrity birthday shout outs. And a little bit later, we're going to talk more with uh, Kanoa of Gomega about his album and uh, what he's been up to lately. But right now, number two on the countdown. Number two. Flo Rida and uh, T Pain. What? TP himself, uh, low on Wild 105.5.